From a surprise strike that narrowly misses a woman in southern China, and a powerful bolt that cuts the power to an entire police station in central Florida, to a spectacular slow-motion light show over the Houston skyline, and dashcam footage of branching lightning over Australia. Here are 10 incredible lightning strikes that were caught on camera. In Lake Charles, Louisiana, a small city north of the Gulf of Mexico, a group of friends gathered on their balcony to watch an ongoing lightning storm. They aimed their cameras at the telephone poles in front of their building. Maybe something had already happened that made them want to record. Either way, they were in for a pretty scary sight when one of those poles got zapped. A sudden flash lights up the area and causes our friends to jump. We pan right and see an exploding telephone pole having just been hit by a lightning strike. Sparks float towards the trees, and all our friends can do is laugh. Cars pull up alongside the downed wire, but suddenly it explodes again. It doesn't seem funny anymore, as the sound itself is pretty scary. Lightning strikes like this are the main reason why transformers on telephone poles explode and burn. The overload of electricity and extreme heat flowing into it can cause the whole thing to blow. Remember, it might look cool, but it is extremely dangerous. With just over 2.3 million people, Houston, Texas is the fourth most populated city in the United States. Its proximity to the Gulf of Mexico gives you a little bit of everything, from big city life during the week to relaxing afternoons on the beach on the weekend. On June 5th of 2021, everyone living in Houston witnessed a beautiful lightning storm stretching across the sky. No matter where you were, all you had to do was look up. Slow motion footage during the storm lets us appreciate these lightning strikes in all their glory. It streaks and branches across the sky, lighting up some clouds like strobe lights at a nightclub. It is truly amazing watching the arcs break off in different directions. Dashcam footage gives a really cool shot as the lightning moves across the sky from behind the driver. So how fast is lightning? The flashes we see travel at the speed of light, or about 670 million miles per hour. However, the actual lightning strike is much slower, about 270,000 miles per hour. In other words, it would take a long lightning bolt about 55 minutes to reach the moon, according to the Met Office in the UK. June 11th of 2019 probably wasn't the best day for a motor scooter ride in China. Heavy rainstorms, common for the area near Yulin City, flooded the streets, keeping most traffic at bay. But that didn't stop one woman or the car behind her. She took her scooter out for a joyride through the flooded streets. 
Instead, she came face to face with one of Mother Nature's most powerful displays of force. Dashcam footage from the car behind her shows her navigating the flooded streets, seemingly enjoying herself. Then, without warning, a series of lightning bolts strike mere inches from her leg. The sudden jolt causes her to crash and fall into the water. Aftermath footage shows where the lightning struck after the water cleared. You can see the hole in the ground and loose asphalt strewn about. According to the National Weather Service, you have a 1 in 15,300 chance of being struck by lightning in your lifetime, assuming you live for 80 years. Fortunately, this lady walked away from this with only minor injuries. A series of thunderstorms passed over New South Wales, Australia in early December of 2014. The Bureau of Meteorology issued warnings all across the region as the storm slowly moved over the capital city of Sydney. Uma Pekinen and her partner Kamal Deep were driving along a busy road when they saw lightning strike a tree up ahead. What happened next caused everyone to get out of their cars to help a fellow Aussie in need. Oh my god! god. That's Come just in the <laughs> Is that guy okay? Fuck! He's alright, he's alright. Oh. We got it, we got it. <laughs> Yeah! Oh, oh. Is he alright? Oh, I he, think he must be in no, shock. No, no, he was on the side. Like, he would be in shock. Oh. The lightning bolt slices through the tree like thin paper. It falls on top of another car, causing everyone in Uma's vehicle to share the same reaction. A few guys hurry to check on the driver, who thankfully wasn't hurt, just in shock. Uma and the other passengers call emergency services. Someone beat them to it, or the ambulance was conveniently passing by and saw the accident. The force of lightning is enough to easily split a tree in half. You'll know it when you see it, as it usually looks like the tree blew up. Lightning superheats the moisture cells below the bark, causing them to expand and eventually explode. The Gold Coast is the second largest city in Queensland, Australia. Their sunny, tropical climate and world-class beaches and casinos make it one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world. On December 21st of 2018, a local Gold Coastian had their dash camera rolling as they drove through the city. A lightning storm had loomed overhead all day, but he was lucky enough to catch the tail end of it. Our driver approaches the roundabout ahead when the sky suddenly lights up. The lightning strike branches off in every direction, and if you blinked, you'd miss it. Thankfully, we get to see it again in slow motion. The lightning begins in the top left corner and moves across the screen. There's a brief moment when it glows excessively bright, like an explosion in the sky. Lightning, and electricity in general, is always trying to find the path of least resistance. Branch lightning like this occurs when a series of weakly charged particles move through the air and split from each other as they try to find that path. Tall Volcano is one big caldera filled with water in the middle of the Philippines. It's one of the most active volcanoes in the country and recently began a series of eruptions in 2020. 43 years after its last episode in 1977. Now, when we think of lightning, most of us default to rain and thunderstorms, but erupting volcanoes can cause lightning too. It's called volcanic lightning, and these locals in the Philippines got to experience it firsthand. Iba na yung amoy. Amoy, ano na? Amoy yung sulfur na, no? Naku, hindi ko pala hindi ko sinuot yung ano. Oh my God! Nakakatakot yung mga ko, ano, kidlat. Oh my God! Lord, may pasin. A group walks down the street and uses their phones to record the eruption. We can see the volcanic lightning illuminating the dark ash plume that looms over the town. 
You can hear the worry in their voices, though we assume they're more concerned about the eruption in general. Like normal thunderstorms, volcanic lightning happens due to a buildup of static electricity. However, this buildup isn't as straightforward as typical thunderstorms, and we're still learning new things about how it works. Bertle is a small town in Manitoba, Canada, and home to an avid storm chaser named Jordan Carruthers. On August 14th of 2020, a tornado warning went out to those living in and near Bertle. While filming the storm clouds, Jordan captured something truly amazing. While lightning looks incredible, sometimes it sounds even cooler. Gotta give credit to Jordan for his excellent framing. The contrast between the stormy sky and the heavenly clouds in the background is pretty impressive. He slows the footage down moments before the lightning strike, and then the sound is awe-inspiring and terrifying at the same time. We hear the initial snap or click because the lightning is close by. According to the National Weather Service, thunder that sounds like a rumble comes from lightning strikes several miles away. The sound of thunder happens because lightning superheats the air, upwards of 50,000 degrees, causing it to expand rapidly. The air quickly contracts as it cools, creating the sound wave we hear as thunder. Conway, South Carolina is a small town in Horry County, a few miles outside of Myrtle Beach. A local named Romulus McNeil was leaving his job as a school counselor when it began raining cats and dogs, as he puts it. There was a lull in the storm, so Romulus thought he'd use the opportunity to get to his car. He opened his umbrella and stepped outside, but was ultimately hit with something far worse than a little rain. Romulus makes it about halfway down the path when a jolt of lightning seems to shoot down his arm. He jumps and drops his umbrella before running toward his car. The lightning actually hit the ground next to him, not his umbrella. Still, it was enough to give old Rami a good scare. According to meteorologist Ed Piotrowski, lightning can strike 10 to 15 miles outside of a thunderstorm. If you can hear thunder or see lightning, you're not safe. Looking out the window on a plane puts the whole world in perspective. The city below you shrinks, and there's nothing but clear skies and white clouds. But sometimes, those skies aren't so clear, and those clouds aren't so white. Passengers witnessed an amazing yet scary sight on an evening flight from Chicago to Kansas. A lightning storm brewed in the clouds beneath the plane, putting on a spectacular light show in the sky. It looks like a thousand flashing cameras are going off at once. Something about the plane's wing in the foreground makes the lightning storm even cooler. According to the National Weather Service, passenger planes get hit by lightning once or twice per year. They're designed to withstand the strike thanks to conducting paths built into the plane. Apopka, Florida is a small city north of Orlando, nestled on the eastern banks of Apopka Lake. 
On a stormy day in June of 2018, a canine officer with the Apopka Police Department was loading equipment into his SUV. The thunderstorm had just moved over downtown around 8 p.m., but our officer didn't think he'd get caught in the middle of it. The officer fiddles with something in the front seat, while security cameras film the parking lot behind him. A lightning bolt comes down on the right side, causing the officer to nearly jump out of his uniform. The strike knocks all the lights out, and some fire rises from a small explosion. It sounds like a bomb goes off behind him, and he jumps in his car to catch his breath. In slow motion, we can see the lightning strike to the right of the closest street lamp. Then, we assume a transformer blows up in the background. According to local reports, the lightning strike knocked out power to the entire police station. Thankfully, the outage didn't interrupt any emergency services. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time.